In today's Excel VBA tutorial, we're going to take a look at two extremely useful methods, the copy method and the paste special method. We're also going to take a look at how we can copy different sized ranges. In particular, how we can use the resize property to change the size of a range before we copy it. Now, you could use that for cases when you want to copy the current region, but you want to exclude the header. This video is a part of my online Excel VBA course. To find out more about it, check out the link in the description below. Here I've added some source data that we're going to use for copying. These are the different destinations that we're going to paste it to and we're going to use the different methods. I've put them in the same place so that we can see the differences between them. On the Visual Basic side, I've already created a sub-procedure called Copy Resize Ranges. I've added in some sections and all of this is in the same module that we've been working on until now. So let's start with the copy method. First off, let's just assume that this range is fixed, so it goes from A4 to E10 and I want to copy and paste it to here. So I'm going to use the copy method on this one. It's A4 to E10 dot copy. Great thing with the copy method is that destination is its argument. So you don't even need two lines of code to copy. You don't even need to select anything to copy. You just reference the ranges, you copy them, and you just have to put the starting cell reference where you want to paste your values in. So let's say I want to paste them in J4. That's all I need to write. Let's test this. Paste it right here. Now I have formulas in here and these formulas are also carried over. My comment is carried over. Formatting, colors, everything is carried over with the copy method. Now how do we make this a variably sized range? So for example if I have more data to this, let me just pull this down and just add a new entity here. How can I make sure that this new data is also copied over? What property can I use here? The current region property, right? So I can just reference any range that is in this data set. It can be the first one, it can be the middle one. I'll just go with the first one in this case and use the current region property and copy this. The destination is the same. I'm just going to put it in the same place. Now when I run this, this additional line should show up here as well. And it does. Now let's say I didn't want this to be copied one to one. I just wanted to copy the values. Not the comments, not the formatting, just the values. This is when the paste special method comes into play. The copy part stays the same. So I'm going to take this one, hold down control, and bring it down here. To paste special as values, I again, just like in this case, I need to select the range I want to paste these in. So in this case, let's paste them in J20. Dot paste special. Now I'm going to press space and we can see all the arguments that we have in paste special. Now this is very similar to the Excel ones that you see. So when you copy something and you right mouse click, go to paste special, you also have options like this one. And there is the Excel paste as values. And if I run this, I get everything in here copied and pasted as values. So there are no more formulas behind this. Now, what if I wanted two of these options? So I wanted to paste these as values, but I also wanted to keep the comments. I just have to repeat this paste special code again, and this time to select Excel paste comments as well. So basically it copies this, paste it as values, and paste the comments as well. So let's run this and I get both. If you'd like to keep the number formatting, but still have these as values, so without the formulas, there is another option, and that's right at the bottom called Excel paste values and number formats. Okay, so let's run this one, and we get it looking better. Now let's take a look at the resize property. What if I didn't want the header? I want to copy only this area, and paste it to here. 
The part of the code that I need to change is this part, the part that I'm copying. So I don't want to copy the entire current region. I want to adjust the current region minus the header and then copy that. Let's start off with this, but I'm not going to go to dot copy right here. I'm actually going to offset the entire current region by one row. So I'm going to use the offset property first. What this means is that I have selected the current region and I'm going down by one row. Now this is red because we still need to continue with our formula, but let's just see the address of this. So I'm going to highlight this, put a question mark, put this down and type in the address. We get A5 from here to E12. Okay, why E12? Because we've offset everything by one row. Right, so it's not A4 to E11, it's A5 to E12. If you don't mind having that additional empty row on the bottom, you can just go ahead with this. But if you want to exclude that additional empty row, we can use the resize property here. We need to give it the row size that we'd like to have, right? So if I give it two, I basically only get two rows in here. We can also decide if we want to resize the column. Well, in this case, since I've selected the current region, I'm not touching the number of columns, right? The only thing I need to change is the number of rows. So to get that, I could use this. Let me just copy and paste this here and count the number of rows in the current region, right? So that would be rows.count and deduct one. That's it. And we can test if we get the correct address by just copying this into here. Okay, dot address. Now let me just delete this. Let's press enter. Now we get A5 to E11. So that looks good. So we need to copy this. So actually, let me just move this to the next line. So right here, I'm going to press space, underscore, and press enter. We need to use the copy method on this. And now it's up to you how you want to paste. Let's say I wanted to use the paste special method and paste it as values and numbers. But I don't want to do it in J20. I want to do it in A20 right here. Okay, so that gives me all the data without the header. Now notice one thing, when you use the copy and paste special in two separate lines, you get these dotted lines going around, right? So this copy mode is on. You can turn it off by typing application.cutCopyMode equals false. Okay, so that's kind of like pressing escape on your keyboard. It turns it off. Let's test two things. Let's make sure that this one is off. Let me just add one more line of data to this. We call this entity H. So when we run all of these different methods, we should get entity H in there as well. And we shouldn't have this dotted lines going around. Okay, so that looks good. No dotted lines. This one is highlighted. If we want to change that, we can jump to one specific cell. So we could say range A1 dot select. Okay, so it does that and it jumps all the way back up here. So this was the different ways that you can copy and resize variable size ranges. We use the copy method together with the current region property to make sure that the moment we get more data, this additional data is copied as well. We also use the paste special method to have more control over the way we want the data to be pasted. To use more than one method, don't forget that you just need to repeat that paste special code again and select the paste option that you want. We also took a look at how we can use the resize property to return a changed range. In the next lecture, we're going to take a look at the different ways we can reference worksheets. I hope you found this video useful. If you're interested to find out more about the course, check out the link in the description of the video. This video was brought to you by Unlock Excel VBA and Macros Course, where you're going to learn how to simplify your work 
and how to save time by automating complex and routine tasks. We're going to go from beginner all the way to advanced. For more information, check out the description of this video or go to xelplus.com slash courses.